At this point, we really don't know because that's a big breaker and for something like that to, to melt down the way it did, um, we're still investigating that. An 800 amp main breaker blew at the Columbia Falls wastewater treatment plant on Monday, allowing untreated sewage water to discharge into the Flathead River. It's raw sewage without the solids, basically is what it is. I mean, it's sewage without solids. It's your nitrates, your phosphorus, you know, stuff like that. Columbia Falls Public Works Director Chris Hanley says an electrician was able to find a temporary part in town for the main breaker, stopping the flow of untreated sewage into the river by noon on Tuesday. You know, they took out the breaker that was burnt out and were able to splice in uh, power. Not We were thinking it was going to be the backup generator, but looking at it more closely this morning, they, were, they determined that they could actually get it hooked back up to Flathead Electric Power, which is even better for us. Thanks to an excess sewage storage container, Hanley says raw, untreated sewage only discharged into the river for a few hours. It was minimal and uh, I was glad these guys were able to get it back up and running as soon as they did. He says it's unknown at this time how much sewage was discharged into the river. The city is working with the Montana Department of Environmental Quality. Out of caution, he advises those on the water to avoid swimming in the area directly under the sewage plant, about a mile and a half west of the Old Red Bridge. Maybe through the day, just to be safe, you know, maybe through the day, you know, and, and honestly, I don't even think if you're floating by, I don't think anything would be wrong with that either, but you know, definitely just don't, I wouldn't swim necessarily right below our treatment plant, but I think after today you'd be good. In Columbia Falls, Sean Wells, MTN News.